What's good, YouTube? It's your man, CJ, a.k.a. The High Value Nurse, checking in once again, back with another video. Get paid, young nerds, get paid. Hey, look, I'm not going to be here too long. I just uh, did a 16-hour shift, just getting off work, and something came to my mind. I wanted to talk to y'all about it, so let's have a conversation. Nurse bullying. <laughs> so, I haven't been a nurse that long. I haven't been a nurse that long, and... Uh, I'm not going to cap. I used to think before the situation that I saw today, I used to think that nurse bullying was an asinine topic. And so much so that I, I said that I would never discuss that because in my head, I'm like, okay, if you are a grown adult, uh, why are you letting somebody else bully you? Right? But that was ignorant. I can take accountability on that on my part because I saw what bullying looked like firsthand today. So it was a scenario last night to where I had, <clears throat> it was a scenario last night to where I saw a nurse and I was working downstairs. She was working up. So my floor was straight. It was no issues on my floor whatsoever. <clears throat> so one of the other nurses from downstairs came up. And it was like, yo, CJ, can you talk to um, the aide down there? And I was like, well, that's your aide. Why would I talk to your aide? Like, what's the deal? Well, she don't want to do this. She don't want to do that. And I'm kind of nervous to say something to her. I said, nervous? What are you nervous about? Now, mind you, I don't know if that was the first time this nurse had ever worked with this certain scene before or whatever. But I was like, uh. You know, that's such and such. Like, what's the big deal? And she was like, well, you know, I, I'm just nervous because, you know, I don't want it to be confrontational. And every time I try to say something to people, it gets confrontational. And from her demeanor, from this nurse's demeanor, she did not look like she was the type to be, like, timid. She looked like she was about that action. Like, not and not saying, like, in a, in a, in a ratchet ghetto way, but she looked like she was about that supervisor action, like doing what you got to do. And that was that. But she came to me, she was like, you know, I just don't want no issues, but she not doing this, 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 and that. I said, okay. I said, what is it about this person that makes you so nervous that you can't even do what you're supposed to do? And to make a long story short, she thought the girl was ghetto, right? And she thought, you know, she, she looked at her as ghetto. She thought she was going to beat her up and all that kind of stuff. She said something to her, and I'm like, listen. <laughs> so it wasn't even actual, like, nurse bullying. It was more like a CNA being, being like, the I, according to her, she was like the aggressor, right? So I don't know really what happened. I guess she said something to her. The CNA didn't like it. They started talking junk. And I guess she just intimidated the nurse. And I'm like, okay, this must be what they say when it's nurse bullying. She was just like, I just, I don't want any confrontation. I, every time I try to say something, it's always a confrontation. And she blamed it on, now ladies, this is not coming from me. Because I, to this day, I haven't had not one issue, knock on wood. But I haven't had not one issue with any female seniors. Or female nurses. I haven't had no confrontation. No issue. So I can't say if this is a female thing. This is what this woman has told me. And she said it's a female thing. Because they don't, they always want confrontation. Like I said. I, it's not me saying this. Because I haven't had an issue. Yet. You know what I'm saying. I haven't had an issue yet. In two and a half. Three years. So I don't know if it's a female thing or not. But this is what she's saying. So she's like, you know, it's just always a confrontation. So I went, I go down there and I was just like, hey, so what's the issue? I don't like the way she said this to me. And I don't like the way she's, she thinks she this, 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 and that. She don't want to help. Every time I ask for help, she goes and disappears and everything like that. And clearly, you know, the other nurse is denying it. So it's just a bunch of she say, she say. So I said, look. Y'all both adults. Y'all both over 30 years old. Like, just respect each other. This is your supervisor. Point blank, period. And just because you are her supervisor, that don't mean you 
you can disrespect. If she needs some help, help her. Your job is not to just sit in the office all night, point blank, period. So, and on top of that, I was working a staff job. I mean, not a staff, but a PRN job. Wasn't even my place. Wasn't even my staff job. That's the crazy part. But, um, <laughs> but I come there often. So that's why they know me by name. And, you know, I work with some of the nurses and everything like that. So I'm cool with the nurses there. And I was just like, you know, what's the issue? And once it got resolved, I guess the rest of the night went smooth because I really didn't hear anything about it. But it was just nurse bullying from a male. Per like, I was just trying to give you how it looked to me from my eyes as a male. Um, and I was just like, I, you know, the girl was legit intimidated, but it just it really just seemed like petty drama. Uh, just people not getting along and everything like that. So what do y'all think? Was that nurse bullying? Do y'all feel like the CNA was bullying the nurse or, you know, cause the, the CNA claimed that she wasn't helping and everything like that. And once she said her, told her to do something else, she kind of went off. So what do y'all think? I don't know. Like, I don't, is that nurse bullying? I don't know, but I'm, I'm the type you, you as a supervisor, listen to all you new LPNs out there that's going to be working in these settings. You have to be stern, but you have to be fair. You cannot be afraid to send somebody home. You cannot be afraid to write somebody up. You can't be afraid to do none of that stuff, but you still have to be fair. There's a fine line. Uh, there are a lot of cases to where a lot of nurses do talk down to CNAs, will not help the CNAs. And trust me, I know we have a lot of things to do. But even when, you know, after I'm done with all my work, you dig? Like, after I'm done with all my work, I go ask every one of my seniors, you good? Here, let me help you with this. You need some help with that? You good? Here, you need help changing this. You need help totaling, to toiling this person. You need help feeding. Like, it's a team effort. And, I, you know, that's just how I am. And I really believe, like, just asking, do you need help? Are you good? I feel like that's going to help with a lot of problems because even if you just going up to the seniors and just asking them like hey what's the deal you good you need some help let me help you with or whatever the case i feel like they be like oh okay they thorough they they actually give a give a care so i don't know that's just my experience i don't know if that's really nurse bullying but y'all let me know in the comments is it nurse bullying is it not I just think it's just a case of maybe two people not getting along. When I first thought about it, I was like, oh, okay. So maybe she just bullied this this chick, but maybe it's not. But anyway, my name is CJ Kyles, a.k.a. The High Value Nurse, checking in once again. If you don't do nothing else, get paid. Young nurse, get paid. Peace.